Hi everybody. Uh, I added some fish to my native tank today and one of the minnows is not only an odd looking species, I'm not sure what it is, but it's also covered in white fuzzy stuff. I didn't realize it was so bad until I got it in the tank and saw it. I tried to get it out but it went to ground and the stress that I was going to cause the tank was not worth it. So what I've decided to do is uh, salt the tank. So we're going to make sure this is still stirred because it actually looks like it's coming out of solution. No, we're still good. It's still thoroughly stirred in there. So I've got a 125 gallon tank. I took about a third of this one was almost empty. You know, maybe up to about where my thumb is was full. So I went ahead and dumped it in and then we did a second one its entirety into this. If I've done my math correctly, one of these will give me about 122.7 teaspoons. So, you know, I'm looking at maybe 150, 170 teaspoons into a 175 or 125 gallon tank. So that's only a little more than a teaspoon per gallon. I could probably do a tablespoon per gallon uh, without causing any regular freshwater fish any undue stress all of the fish that are in my native tank are able to deal with all the way up into brackish water so this little bit of salt even though one and a third container seems like a lot really is not going to be that much once it gets poured into the big 125 gallon tank uh, especially for the fish that are in there that are all uri haline so i'm going to put you on pause for a minute we're going to teleport over to the tank and here we are. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to pour this in one handed so you can see what this salty water looks like pouring into the fresh. So that looks like a ton of salt in there, I know. Uh, I'll give this a little while. In fact, I'll give it till tomorrow. I'm going to be in here turning the lights out fairly shortly. But I'll come in here tomorrow once this water is all thoroughly mixed. And I'll bring my uh, refractometer over and check it out. And we'll see what I've brought the specific gravity up to. Uh, I'm willing to bet that it's probably still going to read pretty much zero. This is pretty much still going to be fresh water as far as the refractometer is concerned uh, let's see if we can see my little problem fish swimming around in there anywhere I do not so once again it may have gone to ground I don't know what's on it I don't know if it's a fungal infection I don't know if it's columnaris again uh, this is a fish I just brought home today there he is all the way down here at the end just brought it home today from the bait and tackle shop. I got 18 shiners and this one was in the container of shiners or my bucket of shiners. And when I first saw it and threw it in there, I thought it was just a little beat up looking. I thought some of its scales had been knocked loose and its fins were torn up. Uh, I did not realize it was all covered in that white fuzzy stuff. So now it's in the tank and I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the tank and we're just gonna go ahead and treat the tank with salt and leave it alone and maybe if it calms down and it's not getting overly stressed the uh, salt treatment will be enough to cure whatever fungus is on it sorry i keep squeezing up against the tank i'm trying to walk around stuff i've still got in the middle of the floor here so there you go that was what it looks like when you dump a whole lot of salt water and now remember that was simply non-iodized table salt sodium chloride that was not marine salts for making brackish water. If you're making brackish water, I know I mentioned brackish water, uh, but you need to use marine salts when making brackish water. So even if I brought the salinity up even further in this tank by adding more 
uh, aquarium salt, as it's often called, or sodium chloride, table salt, whatever you want to call it, just the straight up sodium chloride, I can add as much of that as I want and this tank would never become brackish. I could take it all the way up until it was pickled brine and all of the fish were in there floating in brine and it would still not be brackish water. That's not what brackish water is. Uh, brackish water has marine salts in it, so big key difference there. Hopefully the uh, additional sodium chloride in the water will kill off that fungus and or whatever it is and we'll see this fish improve and maybe I'll even be able to identify what kind of fish it is if it survives. My chief concern is not so much whether it survives but whether or not it takes out everybody else in the tank with some virulent disease that I just put in there so we'll see. Won't be the first time I've done that. Probably won't be the last. So, at any rate, make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up. I will be keeping you updated on this fish's health. And then, of course, I will always be doing updates on my different crayfish and all of their wacky antics. So, thanks again for watching. Don't forget this one's my native tank. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.